I want you to understand something. The church of Jesus Christ is the body of Christ. And this body of Christ is not an ordinary assemblage of people. It is not just people who go to a building to worship God. The Bible says if any man be in Christ is a new creature. We are new creations. We are a new nation. We are born of the word of God. We are born of the spirit of God. And the Bible says as Jesus is, so are we in this world. Not the Jesus before he died, but the resurrected Jesus with eternal life, never to die again. So the Bible tells us we are born after the second and last Adam. We're like him. As he is, so are we in this world. And Jesus gave us the very life that he has. The church is different. You know, there are many Christians who don't realize that Christianity is not a religion. They think it's a religion. They think it's one of the religions of the world, but they are so wrong. Anybody can call it a religion until you study and know the Bible. When you understand the scriptures, you will know Christianity is not a religion. It is a pulsating life of Christ, the human being. It's Christ alive in you, literally alive in you, God alive in you. It means divinity at work and alive in you. In Christianity, what the Bible tells us, when it says in Christ, in Christ doesn't mean that you are uh, inside something. In Christ means that you are mingled like water and water with Christ. The Bible says he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. You become one with him inseparably one with him the same life so when you're talking about the virus the germs bacteria etc and all of these things when you have the knowledge of God when you understand who you are in Christ when you recognize the life that has been given to you you'd realize it's impossible for you to be sick it's impossible for you as a babe in Christ you may be sick when you're just growing and you have a lot of a lack of knowledge, you have very little understanding in the things of God, of course you will have, you experience the same things that non-Christians experience. Christianity is not one of the religions of the world. It's having eternal life. Let me read something to you. First John, chapter 5. Let's read from verse 12. First John, chapter 5, from verse 12. He, he that, that hath the son. Good, really, go ahead. He that hath the son. He that hath the son. Hath life. Hath life. And he that hath not the son he of God. He that hath not the son of God. Hath, hath not, not life. life. Look at it. How powerful this is. It says if you have the son of God, you have life. The son of God is Jesus Christ. If you have him, you have life. He's talking about eternal life. He's talking about the, the God type of life. Not the biological life. No, the God type of life. It's a different type of life that, that supplants the human life with which you were born of your mother and your father. That's why Jesus said you must be born again. Because when you were born of your earthly parents, you were born of a human biological life. And Jesus said that kind of life cannot see the kingdom of God. He's not talking about just going to heaven. No, he's talking about the reality of the kingdom of God, the, 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 the dominion of God in the world, the life and nature of God experienced in this world. When you're born again, you have the life and nature of God. You experience the kingdom of God now in this life. It becomes your everyday experience, your everyday walk. But until you're born again, you can't recognize it. You can't know it. That's why Jesus said you must be born again. That's why we preach the gospel. We're not just trying to get people to, to come to one religion from... It's not a religion thing. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Now, I still want to read some verses to you. We're in verse 13 now. 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. Can you use the NIV for me now? So, so I want them to really understand it. Follow this. He says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is mind-blowing. He's talking about those who believe in the name of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He says, I write this to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. Because not everybody knows. 
So he sent us the message so we may know. He says, I want you to know that you have eternal life. And I'm sharing that with you today. If you're a Christian, if you're born again, you have eternal life. If you have eternal life, you have nothing to fear in this life. You have nothing to fear in this world. If you have eternal life, you're indestructible. Did you hear what he called it? Eternal life. He says, I want you to know that you have eternal life. Oh boy, what a life is given us. What a life is given us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So if, you, if, you, if you're not, this is the reason you must give your heart to the Lord today. Because only through Jesus Christ do you receive this life. Let me show you something. Acts chapter 4 and verse number 12. Just, just for the record, so you understand. He says, salvation is found. Leave it there. Leave it in the NIV. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Look at that. Look at that. He says, salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Listen, there are things that are going to happen to this world that are so terrible. You know, I read my Bible and I cry. When I think about what the future of this world is. If only you knew what was coming. The only time of real peace for the world. Listen. Real peace is in the heart. And only the man that's born again has it. And the nations of the world will have peace when Jesus comes back. I'll talk to you about that shortly. But first I want you to understand. There's no life without Jesus. There's none. This is the only way. Put that scripture back up there. Salvation is found in no one else. For there's no other name under heaven. Under heaven. Given to men by which we must be saved. I want you to hear what Jesus said by himself. St. John's Gospel chapter 14 and verse number 6. Hear the words of Jesus by himself. John 14 verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Put it in the NIV. I want them to hear it. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No, look at it. Those are the words of Jesus. Who can contest that? That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No other way. So Jesus said, 